Hello and welcome. You are watching Red Live. Kopano Denise Zimba is a South African singer, dancer, actress, television presenter and an entrepreneur. She is known for being very outspoken, gorgeous and mostly bad feces crazy. In a good way though. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure how our feces good. You know what? Just look at her in a bikini. See what I mean? Good. Some background. Zimba is said to have fallen in love with entertainment at a very young age. She enjoyed singing and dancing. She even sang backing vocals and was a dancer for the rap group Jawsy. Click on the top right to watch the video on what happened to Jawsy. In 2013, she was a member of the all girl group Fly Chicks. There was even a documentary series that followed the all girl group on an attempt to break into the music industry. After the Fly Chicks show, Zimba joined Vuzu V Entertainment Daily Show as a presenter. Other television roles. Generations The Legacy, 10 over 10, Looking for the Lorry with Denise, Ridiculousness Africa, The Wedding Bashes, Zabalaza, Vodacom Next Level, Channel O Top 5 Drive. Music. As part of the Fly Chicks, I couldn't find a song with Denise Simba. I did find two solo singles titled Who Are We as well as Lunatic. What happened to Denise Zimba? Let us begin at the Fly Chicks drama. There were reports that some ladies left the group before the show even aired. Replacements were made. Eventually, the show kicked off with Chanel, Denise, Joy, Takis, and Zena. Denise would leave the group and Fly Chicks recorded a song titled Fist of Fire without Denise. There is also a music video which I will put a link to in the description. Let's talk about some wild behavior. Do you guys remember that one time she took off a wig while recording a live V Entertainment show? Yes, that really did happen and it really did trend. Do you guys remember that one time she showed up at the Channel O Awards red carpet wearing this dress that leaves very little to my imagination? She basically rocked up at the awards in her underwear. Truth be told, this is wild behavior I personally do not mind. Not one bit. Do you guys remember that one time on the hashtag V table she said this about Ayanda Tabete? Ayanda is gorgeous. I do not think she is talented. I do not think she has it. Funny enough, on social media, a lot of people seem to be on the same page as she was. It almost feels like people were waiting for someone crazy enough to speak first and then they can come out, and, out of the shadows in support and be like, yeah, yeah, we also thought that too. Not cool. Very not cool. Leaving Generations in 2015. In this particular matter, there are conflicting reports about a departure from the Soapy. Some reports say that she was axed and that the producers of Generations The Legacy decided not to renew her contract. Other reports say that the Generations work ate up all her time and allowed her very little space to take her career into other direction and that the strict daily routine also eventually got to her. Which is which I leave you to decide on that. Either way, she left Generation and as far as I can recall, I thoroughly enjoyed her performance and her character on Generations The Legacy. Leaving V Entertainment in 2016. According to reports, she felt that she was bringing in the ratings for the company but was continuously overlooked and not acknowledged. During an interview on Cliff Central, Denise apparently said this, if you are not going to utilize me or see my worth at some point, I am going to do what I need to do for myself. For me personally, I didn't think that they had my best interest at heart. For someone who was raking in the ratings, no recognition, no nothing. Then she left the country and took a sabbatical from the entertainment industry. She started posting pictures of herself in bikinis, and in more bikinis and damn but she's back now doing the channel o top 5 drive mzanti magic vodacom next level and the wedding bashes talk about hitting the ground running there are also reports that she's working on her album which is rumored to be titled wonderland when can we expect this well like all great summer blockbuster movies it is said to be coming soon so Denise Zimba is definitely still around and has loads more in store for us entertainment lovers out there. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.